哇，五月快要过完了耶！六月初就要期中考了，我都还没有看书。不行，我要赶快去看书。It's been a long day without you, my. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Come along, way from where. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Oh, 好多哦，应该要好好看书了。放个音乐让我专心一点。It's been a long. Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. 故事一：小美没有听到赖下。也就是说，没有接受到讯号，发生了漏失。当赖的提示音与音乐音量相似 ，D prime 小，而小美专心的看书，没注意到赖，贝塔大。Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. When I see you again. 小美一直查看奈，以为提示音响起。也就是说，以为有人赖他，但事实上没有，发生了虚景。当赖的提示音与音乐音量相似 ，D prime 小，而小美正等待着小华的通知。也就是说，小美随时注意着赖。贝塔小，什么是贝塔？信号侦测者之偏好，反映了其对于信号判定标准之严格程度。当贝塔大，贝塔大于一，表示侦测者判定标准较严格。当贝塔小，贝塔小于一，表示侦测者判定标准较宽松。假设信号和杂讯发生均为常态分布，垂直轴为发生几率，水平轴为强度，红色为杂讯的曲线，在这里表示音乐；而绿色为讯号和杂讯的曲线，在此表示赖的提示音。图的中间为目前贝塔值的位置，贝塔等于一，也就是代表中庸。
往 yes 的方向表示有讯号，往 no 的方向则是没讯号。当贝塔值往右偏，也就是贝塔值大于一，杂讯被认为是讯号的范围变小，也就是代表着正气。而另一方面来说，当贝塔值往右偏，讯号被认为是杂讯的范围变大，也就代表漏失。当贝塔值往左偏，也就是贝塔值小于一，判定为讯号的范围变大，也就代表着命中。另一方面来说，当贝塔值往左偏，把杂讯判定的讯号的范围也变大，代表着虚景。什么是 D prime？ 讯号与杂讯的相似程度。讯号等于 line 的提示音，杂讯等于音乐。先来把音乐关小声一点。哦、oh, ，好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。为了提高 D prime， 我们可以抑制杂讯，如图所示，杂讯曲线往左移，让虚景下降，正气提高。赖怎么都那么小声？另一方面，为了提高 D prime， 我们可以增强讯号，如图所示，讯号曲线往右移，让弱丝下降，命中提高。